Never Look Jean Today has changed a lot. The forces that make up the backbone of a nation's navy are no longer destroyers or last cruisers, but frigates. Modern frigates today possess the same capabilities as a destroyer, but have lower operating costs and are easier to build than luxury warships. Spain is developing with the orientation of a sea country due to its geographical location, so they attach great importance to maritime security. Historically, Spain has had the world's number one naval force for several centuries. Currently, the Spanish Navy remains one of the forces with powerful potential in Europe. In the current Spanish Navy, the Anvaro de Basin class frigate is considered the most modern warships. Different from other modern European warships like Section or Eva Hutfeld, although designed for anti aircraft defense missions, Anvaro de Basin can still fulfill other missions such as anti ship, anti submarine, and electronic warfare. The Spanish warships are equipped with the American Aegis combat system that allows armed observation to track targets hundreds of kilometers away. Apart from anti-aircraft, this warship class can also intercept cruise and ballistic missiles. In the early 1980s, the Spanish Navy determined to develop a new class of frigates for escort missions. By 1983, the country had participated in the NFR-90 Future Frigate Initiative. Accordingly, eight key members of NATO will jointly develop a new type of warship. However, the NFR-90 project was cancelled in 1989 and the eight participating countries initially developed new warships on their own requirements. This led to the formation of the F-100 class frigate, also known as the Armour de Basin class in Spain. Spain wanted to create a high-tech warship to enhance its naval power. In 1994, Spain signed a cooperation agreement with Germany and Netherlands to develop the F-100 together. The difference in this agreement from the NFR-90 project is that the countries have only cooperated to develop hydrodynamic designs for ships. Arvorodobation is the first frigate of the class and also the lead ship. Her name was after a Spanish admiral who was never defeated in the 15th century. The ship was launched in 2000 officially put into service in 2002. The Armour de Basin is the first modern Spanish Navy warship designed to incorporate anti-ballistic steel in the hull. Power plants are mounted on anti-vibration mounts to reduce noise, making it harder to detect by submarines. The warship is a flexible frigate medium-sized with a displacement of approximately 6,400 tons. The length and the beam are 146.7 meters and 18.6 meters, respectively. The draft is 4.75 meters. The ship able to operate as much in coastal waters as on the high seas. Her service platforms are optimized to meet the need for the group battle. A ship with an excellent ability to survive, protection against fragmentation, damage control system, and bacteriological and chemical defenses, as well as acoustic and very low magnetic radars. She is equipped with a combined diesel or gas propulsion system, including two General Electric LM2500 gas turbines paired with two Navancia Caterpillar. 3600 diesel engines. The shafts try to control pitch propellers. The propulsion system helps the ship reach a maximum speed of 28.5 knots. The rings can be up to 4500 nautical miles 
at 18 knots. The complement of the ship is up to 250 employees, including 40 officials. The armor of the Basin was designed specifically for air defense, protect the expeditionary forces, anti-submarine warfare, long-range anti-aircraft defense, and missile interception. The ship is equipped with an advanced command and control system that can function as a flagship. The ship's main sensor is the Lockheed Martin ANSPY-1T 3D multifunction radar of the American Aegis Advanced Combat System. The Spanish Navy is among the few forces in the world outside of the United States equipped with this advanced radar. Japan's Congo class, Korea's Sejong the Great class, and Norwegian Free Shop Nansen class also use the Aegis system. Aegis is an integrated combat system designed to deal with a variety of different threats at sea such as fixed-wing aircraft, unmanned aircraft, missiles, high-tech guided weapons, surface warships, and submarines. SPY-1T radar can detect hundreds of targets at a distance of 300 kilometers. The data is then transmitted to the Aegis computer system to classify, evaluate, and active appropriate weapons to retry the target. In addition, the Anvil Debation class frigates are also equipped with Link 11 tactical data link that allows the safe sharing of data between ships, increasing combat effectiveness. Other sensors include the Raytheon SPS 67 surface search radar operating in C band 104 km reconnaissance range. The Anvil Debation frigate uses the Raytheon DE-1160LF active and passive sonar to detect enemy submarines. The firepower is controlled by Dorna Fire Control System from FABA, including the K-Band Radar, Optical Infrared Sensor Station, and Laser Range Fighting System. This system will control the operation of the gunboat and anti-aircraft cannon on board. The armament on board consists of 40 SL US made Mark 41 vertical launch systems. Mark 41 is equipped with a combination of SM2MR surface to air missiles with a range of 70 km and RIM 162 EVO C Sparrow missile with a range of 50 km. The number of missiles carried is 32 SM2MR and 64 EVO C Sparrow missiles. With 96 air defense missiles, Arvara Lubation possesses powerful anti-aircraft capabilities, no less than destroyers. Next are eight RGM-84 Harpoon anti-ship missiles with a range of 120 km, carrying a 220 kg warhead. The ship is also armed with the 127mm Mark 49 Mochu gunboat, which has a maximum range of 23.6 km. Two 20mm FABA Marocca 2B closing weapon systems. The two sides of the ship are fitted with Mark 32 light anti submarine torpedo launchers. 12 Honeywell Mark 46 Mode 5 torpedo available. The task of hunting and destroying submarines also has the support of. SH 60B Seahawk helicopter. A helicopter deck and hangar were installed at the stern. Seahawk can drop A and SQQ 28 LAMS 3 sonar signal processing systems to detect enemy submarines. In late 2005, Armored Abation was deployed as part of the U.S. Theodore Roosevelt Aircraft Carrier Battle Group in the Persian Gulf. This was the first deployment of a Spanish warship as part of an American naval battle group. In early March 2007, Armored Basin became the first Spanish warship to visit Australia 
in 150 years. The deployment included several prop visits and was performed to support Navancia's bid to design the Harbour class destroyer for the Royal Australian Navy. The ship was also visiting Australia as part of the first circumnavigation of the globe by a Spanish cruise ship in 142 years. Military experts said that, with the powerful weapon system, the armored division and her sisters could be classified as a destroyer. However, the Spanish Navy identified the ship as a frigate, likely for political reasons. My video of Arbor Adobation F101N0. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.